You guys asked for an empties videos, so here it is. I'm going to start with the boring products. I like these but only because it has a hole in it. It smells good. I'm not really particular about body washes or smells and things like that. But I really only liked it because it was hanging and it was so much easier for me to undo and put in my little loofah. Ooh, these are really good ones. So these are two makeup removers. I had this one first and I used it for a long, long time. This one works so well. You have to make sure you shake it because you have to mix the oil kind of product ingredient in with all of them. You just have to make sure you just kind of shake them. But I stopped using this and I kept using this and now I have another backup of this one. This It's really good for taking off makeup with like a little cotton pad and like taking out like eyeliner and stuff like that. I found that this one is just easier to remove and slide off that makeup than this one. This one I had to work harder with. It's just deodorant. Uh, it's a dove, go fresh. I would just buy whatever's on sale with deodorant because I'm not that stinky. St. Knives Apricot Face Scrub, uh, the blemish control one. I love this one. It's just like, it's just like a no-brainer. I loved kind of like getting a gritty, clean feel on my face and this one just does it really well. If you guys know of any face washes that are more gentle than this, but also removes makeup at the same time. I usually do a wipe, but I was just curious if you guys have any suggestions on face washes. Not necessarily scrubs, just like a face wash that's like really good at removing makeup. Put it in the comments below because I really, really do want to try out something new. This one's fine too. I don't think I'll ever purchase it, but I did like the way it was gentle in the morning. So again, if you guys have any suggestions on a gentle wash, but that also takes off makeup i just this one just did it oh wait there's one more boring one um it's just some shampoo that i got from a birch box and i'm not gonna go and buy the full price because i like cheap shampoo for my hair this i think i talk about it in almost every chance i get Ooh, there's still some in here so the way you use this is you kind of lift it up into like the part that might be oily you kind of spray it there, let it dry a little bit. This one smells good too, and it's for brown hair. Oh, there's hardly any left. So anyways, you can use this when your hair is dirty or clean. And what it does is it like makes it really dry, but it also adds volume and texture into your hair. Like now. I really like this. It's the, the best. I already have two backups and I will always repurchase this one. This one I got at Ulta. Now this is more makeup stuff. Yay! Makeup stuff. Okay, the primer that I love is this Spackle primer. You know, featured it on Instagram like crazy. Every time it's on sale, I let you girls know because I want you guys to try it. The only thing that I will say about this is that um, you have to work with it quickly. So it, it has like that slippery kind of feel of maybe like a moisturizer that doesn't really dry quickly. Um, I use this for thicker foundations so that they don't come off patchy. So what you do is you, you know, you put the spackle on your face and the primer on your face and then you have to quickly put on the foundation, like dab it on and then fluff it in so that the primer mixes in with the foundation. And I, um, I did a makeup look on this mug right here and I used this and I kind of talk about it a little bit. So look out for that or I forget which one I'll do first, but either one, the link will be below. This face powder is one that I just love, love, love. The only reason that I'm like not giving it a try anymore is all the way at the edge and it kind of created this little film, but this is in W4. It just doesn't match my skin anymore and I have been using the W5 one, but I love this product. I think I'll continue to repurchase it over and over again. I've gone through these lashes. These are the Flare Under Black Lashes. They're pretty short and they're really good for um, adding just more texture and more thickness to your lashes if you don't have that long of a lash. And I will be purchasing these. I actually just purchased some from Red Cherry online and we'll see how those look. And then the last um, lashes are oh, damn it, are the ones I'm wearing right now, and they're super like wispy. They're the wispies, and they're from like just the black like blue box label. And I got a bunch of these, and I will always repurchase these. Another empty that I thought I would never get rid of is the True Match in W4 to 5. 
I will be purchasing this Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. And I did replace it already, but um, do any of you girls know how to like get like the very last amount of like every pump out of this? My sister used, um, she put like hot water in a bowl and then put this in it and like a, she said a ton like went to the bottom. Let me know if you guys have any like tips on how to get rid of this because the thing with this and like the difference between this and the pro longwear is like you can see how empty this is but you can't even tell when that's empty which is really annoying this eyeliner <laughs> it's so funny so i was gonna sharpen it it's from covergirl and it's just some black eyeliner and the whole thing came out so it's like waxy and just dead so no i won't repurchase this Aussie's maybelline in the regular formulation not the waterproof i will repurchase this except I'm going to get it in the waterproof. So the waterproof one makes your lashes stay curled all day long. They are so good. Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture one and it was just a little sampler perfumes. And this smells so good. There's none left. Uh, lip gloss that I got finally got done using, you can tell there's still some on the side but you can't scrape around it, is the Bare Minerals um, one in Rose. Is it Rose or Rosé? It's rosé, I think, and it's just like a lip gloss. I don't know how they're labeled, but it's just a lip gloss. This one's really pretty. It just like it's really suitable for darker, um, pigmented lips, and I really liked it. But I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it just because I have so many glosses, and I feel like, um, like I have one that's really similar to this color, so I'm just gonna like get rid of it and then maybe repurchase it later the Velvet Teddy by MAC and you I scooped out the inside and put it in one of my palettes um oh, it smells so good but it was a MAC color and it's like a pink color can you tell this um blot powder which I talk about I just talked about in my favorites video and I already repurchased a new one because I need it because I'm oily as ever I love it for setting like my makeup and if I don't want to add any extra color or anything like that. This is a really good one. And I keep these in my kit too. So yes, I repurchased that. And I will continue to repurchase it. One thing that I wanted you guys to maybe stay away from, if you can learn from my, mis my mistakes, is um, are the Forever 21 like liners. This was an eyeliner, I think. What is this? An eyeliner? Neon Coral. I don't remember if this was an eyeliner or not. But this was like, you know, they came in like a set of like, Eight, and there was like blue yellow green like all these really fun colors they suck they're so waxy and they're so rough and I just don't imagine like putting that anywhere on any part of your face unless you're doing some kind of like fun like drawings on your face it's so rough and it's so waxy and dry the formulation is awful pigmentation is not that great just stay away from the love and beauty brand liners they're just not worth it and even for like the five dollars or three dollars that they cost they're not worth it just get something, some other brand, okay? That's it for my empties. I hope you guys liked the video. 